What's up, YouTube? Erod212 here with another video. So, not one, but two CGC packages came in. Let's take a look at the grades. All right, so like, like I was saying, you know, two CGC packages, modern, which can go from 75 on. So uh, I know some of the books in here, there's, there's some really good stuff in here. I'm happy with some of the stuff, but let me go over with you guys, show you guys what we got here, all right? Oh. First one we're gonna go with is right there. Kane in the last Padawan, number six, and this is the first, uh, Ezra is it, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, it doesn't say it, but that's the first appearance of Ezra. Um, one is the, the cameo. This is the first full appearance. And this one came back a 9.8. That, that's a good book to own right now. Uh, great little spec book for you guys to get. Let's see. book. Okay. Um, Inhumans, volume two, issue number five. First, Yelena Belova. Uh, I like this character. I think this is a really, really good character. The MCU did a good job with her. Uh, she was a lot of fun in Hawkeye. She was good in the Black Widow movie too. So uh, she's got a bright future with Marvel right now with the MCU. Let's see what they do with her with the Thunderbolt. She's going to be an integral part of that. And uh, this book came back a 9.8. Very nice. Very nice. Right. War of the Realms, New Agents of Atlas number one, first appearance of multiple characters in here. Um, what's this have? Uh, Luna Snow, Wave, and Crescent on first appearances. And it's the first US appearance of Arrow. Uh, Arrow was released in China or Japan, China, I believe it was, and uh, Swordmaster, but they were digital releases. Uh, Swordmaster is issue two. But issue one of this book, a uh, great future spec. And this came back a 9.6. All right. Nine eights the one you want on that book, but still, I'll take that. You got Shang-Chi in that story arc too. Could tie into so many things. Uh, Uncanny Avengers number 20. And this is the Greg Land variant. Uh, this is a one in 25 Greg Land variant. Tough book to find out in the wild. Um, and this book came back a 9.6. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. Yeah. All right. We've got Marvel Team Up number 14. And this is the first time you get an image character crossing over to a Marvel um, book. And you have Invincible, which cartoon was fantastic. And Spider-Man, you can't go wrong. Anything, I thought this book was like a 9.2 and 9.4. Um, this book gets pricey. Once you get past that 9.2 range, it, it becomes a pricey book. And this came back a 9.2. All right. Uh, that, that, that probably a loss on that one, but that's okay. Uh, now this is a nice book here. Um, this is Spider-Gwen number one. This is the uh, Nick Bradshaw variant for Spider-Gwen. I believe it's a one in 25 on this also. Uh, tough book to find, gets pricey in the 9.8 range. And this came back in 9.8. Very nice, very happy with that one. That's a nice book. Next up, let's see. All right, Batman 635. First appearance of the Red Hood. Uh, I'll take this 9.6 or better. 9.6 or better. Hoping for a 9.8, but 9.6. That's that's an underrated DC key right there. That and the Damian Wayne, the 6.55. Uh, good books to get. The 1 in 10 for the Damian Wayne, the uh, Andy Kubert variant. Uh, Total Awesome Hulk, number 1. Uh, this is the 1 in 25 Frank Cho uh, pricey book once you get into that 9.8 range hoping for a 9.8 on this book and boom a 9.8 man that's nice um, 
Very nice. I like this. Great choke cover too. Amadeus choke has not no no inkling on him yet. Somewhere along the line, we'll get an Amadeus choke. Um, oof, this book I've spoken about this book before. Showed this book when I picked it up. This is Guardians of the Galaxy number five. This is the Milo Monero one in twenty five variant on this book. Uh, just a gorgeous Milo Monero. Um, I showed the uh, in one of my previous videos his uh, Psylocke. Which is probably the best one. This is the second best. Um, if you can see that, that's just a badass cover right there. Hoping for a 9 8 on this bad boy, and boom, 9.8. Wow. That's just killer. That's killer, killer art right there. Doing pretty good with these 1 and 25s. I'm happy because this is that error. At 2013, yeah, this is 2013, 2013, 2014, when the ratios meant something, those 1 and 25s are really scarce because these titles weren't being printed a lot. And uh, one more book here. Uh, this is Dark Avengers number one. This is the uh, New York Comic Con edition. Uh, I believe this is 09, yeah, 09. It's the first appearance of the Dark Avengers where Norman Osborn becomes the Iron Patriot. Uh, no, the book in a 9.8 is a good book to own. Boom, we got a 9.8 on that. Very nice. Uh, man, I tell you what, I did really good with some of these variants. I'm, I'm happy. That that was a good batch. Um, I think CGC is finally grading books the way they're supposed to be grading. Kind of, uh, it happens, ebbs and flows. It happens all the time. You'll get new graders in there and they have to prove themselves. They go super strict on books and... 9-8s, you're allowed one defect, but these guys come in and they crush it. And then, uh, you know, after a while, they just get 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 it along with the program. Say, so part of this batch was a something is killing the children, uh, the retailer incentive, in Streetside Anthony's book. And it was a 9-6, and I saw one tick on it. And it told Streetside, but we submitted it anyway. We cracked it out, resubmitted it, and he got a 9-8 on it, so... Super happy for him. Congratulations on that one, brother. Um, great book to own. Okay. What do we got here? All right. Here's some nice books right now. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man, number 194. First appearance of Felicia Hardy, the black cat. Boom, 8.0. Nice. There's two of them in here. Let's see if they're back to back or not. Uh, nope. Okay. And uh, this is Strange Academy, number one. This is the, I believe it's Humberto Ramos. Rap, it's the rap, it's considered the wraparound. Yeah, it's a, a Scotty Young story. Humberto Ramos cover. This is the wraparound cover. Um, hopefully a 9.8. And yes, a 9.8. Uh, that's nice. You don't see this book too often. It's kind of tough to find out there in the wild. Low grade for sure. Uh, if I'm right, it's probably like in that 4.0 range, um, but worth grading. Uh, Iron Fist number 14, first appearance of Sabretooth, and this came back 4.0. Yeah, it's about right. Definitely about right. Um, another Strange Academy. So this is and, and uh, a good spec. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, these are one of the better modern spets. So many first characters in here. So much possibility for the future. Um, Strange Academy, number one. This is the Walmart edition, which is considered like a second print. That's the way they write it now, I believe. Yeah, Walmart, Walmart edition, second printing. Um, and 9 -8. All right, I'll take that. I will take that. Very nice. Very nice. Oof. Anything over an 8.5, I'm happy with this book here. Um, 9.2 probably, hopefully. But anywhere past an 8.5, I'll be ecstatic with that. Uncanny X-Men, number 129. First appearance of the Hellfire Club. Um, Kitty Pride And Emma Frost, the White Queen. And we got 9.0. Very nice. 
Definitely respectable. I'll take a 9-0 in this book. That's a good book. Out of those Bronze Age Uncanny Keys, um, besides the 101, this one here is one of the better ones. This and the Alpha Flight are some of the better ones on there. Uh, let's see what we have here. All right. Uh, Incredible Hulk number 271. So, story with this book. This was an 8.0. Uh, looked at it. Looked like it hadn't been pressed. So, took the shot. Cracked it out. Cleaned and pressed it. More of a pressing than anything else. Just had very minor surface dirt on the back. But it did have quite a few, uh, what I thought were pressable defects on it. So, let's take a look at what we got on this book here. Because this is the first Rocket Raccoon in comics. And it came back, boom, a 9.0. So we're talking a two point grade difference. We got two grades, a two grade bump on this book. That's what I'm talking about. That's why you gotta look at these books. So what, what suggestion I make to people all the time, if you're out at shows or anything like that, now CGC, if you have a CGC account, you can get the greatest notes for free. Everybody can get greatest notes for free. Pull up the greatest notes, take a look at it. Take a look at the book. X to see the book off the wall. Look at it in the light or at a comic store. Look at it in the light. Learn how to grade your books. Now, CGC came out with a book on grading I saw recently. I don't know if I'm going to pick it. I heard it was like $30 for it. Um, it would just be interesting to see uh, what they consider, you know, defects that will be making things a 9.8 and not, and are they going to hold them to that standard? Because now you put it on print. Hmm. Thor number one, and uh, this is when Jane Foster becomes the new Thor. Uh, book took a dip, but it's still, Jane Foster's coming back to the MCU. This is a book, this is more of a long-term hold. I think they did a, although the, the movie was horrible, I thought they did a really good job with her. Uh, Natalie Portman kills it as female Thor. 9.8, I'll take that. I will take that. X-Men 101, picked this up at Terrific Con from my man Very Gary. Uh, we thought with a clean and press, probably like a 7-0 uh, in that that range. And 7-0. It's good dealing with somebody who knows what they have and, and how to grade a book, you know. Go check out my man Very Gary. Always an accurate grader and always bringing nothing but good stuff to the community. Matter of fact, talking about bringing stuff to community tomorrow, Tack on Tuesday, on whatnot. It's an all Spider Man event. Check it out. There's going to be some killer books there. Uh, another book I picked up at Terrific Con Star Wars, uh, Air to the Empire, number one. Uh, why I bought this book? Because it is not a high grade. Well, it's, it's high, but it's not a uh, near mint copy. Um, newsstand edition you don't see that with this book here the newsstand edition has the pliable paper so it's easier to press whereas regular edition hard card stock not getting too many defects out uh got this for a good price and 8.0 i'm happy 8.0 on a newsstand first appearance of grand animal Thrawn and mara jade good book good good book let's see Ah, there we go. Amazing Spider-Man number 194. First appearance of Felicia Hardy. This is the second one. First one was an 8.0. Let's see what we get with this one here. Boom. 8.5. Uh, nice. That, this book has gotten crazy expensive. Uh, let's take a look at this one here. So, this book here... Shout out goes to my man Phil from Vintage Comics and Toys. Um, we were at Terrific Con and we were at a booth and he's like, E, take a look at this book. I have a bunch of copies, so there's a pretty good deal on it. It had a little tear up top uh, right there by the horse. I don't know if you can see it. It's up there. And uh, everybody was debating on this book. Some people were saying it was an 8-0. Tear was so minor small i thought it was probably going to be like a nine i thought i could get a nine if i get a nine it was worth 
the investment. And we got a 9-2. Woo! Buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, this book, besides that little tear, really, it, it, it probably was a 9-6 Nine six candidate before that, so nine point two. First Sokotano. boom. That's that's a badass book right there. And, right. This is Ultimate Fallout Four. We all know this book. Story with this book is that a customer gifted me this. This is a random act of kindness. Now. Um, it is not a high high grade, but it is a nice grade and this book in any any grade And for someone to give me this book, I mean, I I just I don't want to put that person out there I didn't ask him if I could put their name out here. So that's the only reason I'm not but um, If you're if you see this and you want to make a comment in there. Thank you so much I appreciate this. This will not be leaving my collection. I can guarantee you that um, this is something that was given to me, and I appreciate it. Um, one of my favorite, if not my favorite, modern character of all time. You guys all know that. Well, first appearance of Miles Morales, and it came back a 9.0. Oh, wow. Wow. And, and I saw it. You know, it had a couple of ticks to it. Um, the back had multiple ticks also. I was thinking more on that 8.0-ish range. Um, I think I got leniency on this one, but I'm happy, man. 9.0. Thank you very much. And uh, last book here is Thor 337. Um, for some reason, I do not have luck with this book in a 9.8. And I, I've done a lot. Now, this book had a little mark. I'm trying to see where it's at. But there was a little mark that I had seen on it that I I was bothered by. But um, first Beta Ray Bill, I keep shooting for the 9.8 on this book. This is that book that eludes me in a 9.8. Um, I think the highest I've gotten is a 9.6. And this one came back a 9.2. All right. Um, still a good book to own. But uh, definitely, I see two ticks on it right there. Definitely, you know, not the not the grade I wanted. So that one's a loss, but I think I did really good. I think the grades, like I said, are, are more consistent to what I thought they were, uh, as in the past when we've been having all these issues with grading. But let me know what you guys think. Um, check out these videos because there's great content in them. And until the next video, peace.